So let me just start by saying I am not a TV repairman, but you know what? I like YouTube, and before I toss something, I like to see if I can fix it. This is the third one of these Samsung televisions that I've had open. You know what? And I, I, to be honest with you, I didn't know what a bad capacitor looked like before I started looking at these TVs. Um, but apparently, um, everybody else but Samsung uh, knows that they have a serious problem. Well, let me rephrase that. Samsung knows they have a problem, but they ain't going to admit it if they don't have to. I could probably explain to my nine-year-old what a bad capacitor is. He'll have no idea what a bad capacitor is until I tell him. And I'll say, hey, look, just look for one of those that has an exploded top, one of these things that looks kind of like this. He'll come up here, look at here, and go, holy crap, Dad, maybe it's that one, you think? Interesting. I just opened this TV, and it's the same exact capacitor. Samsung, you say you don't have a problem with this model, let me tell you, you do. It's the, been the same exact capacitor on all three of them. It's a 32 inch uh, LCD. You say it's not a problem, but it is. Let me show you. I called them up, they're like, no, we don't see anything, ish, no issues with this LN32B550K1F. Nope. Don't know anything about it. Maybe it's the one below it, you know, the 1FXZA. Anyway, shame on Samsung for not owning up to the problem because this is a $2 fix. Um, and it's pathetic because people paid a premium for Samsung because the, the picture's so kick-ass. But you know what? It's pretty lame when people are paying a premium and this is what they're going to get. A dead TV, premature, that should have lasted a lot longer just because of that crap right there. I don't even think it's two bucks to fix it. Yeah, for them it would cost a lot more, but you know what? They should have they should have manned up and done the right thing, but they didn't. It's pathetic. Anyway, that's my rant. Um, let me show you what you do to fix it. I stink at soldering. Absolutely stink, but it's a real easy fix. So you pull out the bolt here. Where's my thumb or finger? There it is there. Um, you just remember this is the only one with the washer. It's the ground. And then here... Uh, it's just these ones around the perimeter. This thing you just uh, pinch uh, here and lift up. You pinch right here, lift it up. And then this whole board, if you can see these little fingers, these little fingers, they slide into there. So it's really simple to get the thing off. Like I said, I stink at soldering. All you need is some solder wick or a solder sucker and get yourself a decent uh, soldering iron. I don't know if that's a decent one. I know Weller is used to make the best or one of the top, but uh, this one's way better than the cheapos that I bought. Anyway, um, it's a real easy fix. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to heat the back of this thing's legs, wiggle it out, um, suck the rest of the solder off, put it back in. It's a piece of cake. It's such an easy fix, seriously. I, I am the worst solderer, and this is something I can do no problem. Anyway, that's my rant against Samsung, um, but you know what? Not not every company uh, will man up, and they, they have it on this. They have on some of the other TVs, but not this one. This one, they're completely oblivious to this issue. It's funny. Call their tech support. No, we don't know any problems with that. You know what? Maybe you should look again.